All right, hello, my third grade artists. We are gonna learn how to weave on our looms. Last week, you took your loom that you made out of cardboard and you warped your loom. So you added these warp strings. So if you picked up your supplies from school, it should be this nice thin string. We wrapped it around. It should be pretty tight. It should make a little noise, but you should be able to get your finger underneath it. If it's too loose, we might have to go through and tighten it. But if it's good, you're ready for step two. And this is actually the weaving. So when we weave, your yarn that you use is called the weft. So it's like left with a W. So we are gonna be weaving with yarn and you can use whatever yarn you have at home or you can find, you could even use ribbon if that's all you have or shoestrings or cut up t-shirts, whatever you have at home. I like to use thicker yarn because it goes faster and it's easier to see and hold. Really thin yarn looks awesome, but it takes longer and it's a little bit trickier to work with. But whatever you got at home. So um, it's class, I just pull out a length of yarn. I don't know, I just kind of open my hands and just cut because um, we don't want to be stuck with one color for a long time. So we'll change colors in a little bit, but right now this is the basic weaving started. Um, on Tuesday with your class, we turned our looms horizontal because I find it easier to weave going side to side. You might find it's easier to weave up and down, whatever works for you. It doesn't matter what side you start on. The trick with weaving is your pattern. It's that over, under, over, under pattern or under, over, under, over. It's always the opposite. And you'll figure out the pattern as you keep going. The first two days of weaving are usually the hardest until it clicks and you got it. So you can start on any side. I'm gonna start on my right side and I'm gonna start under. I like to start under because it's easier. And you can just use your fingers and you go under, then I'm gonna go over. And then I pick up another line and go under, slide over, pick up, go under, slide over, pick up, slide under. So when I'm done, you should see that pattern of under, over, under, over, under, over, under. So you're really picking up every other line. So when this is done, you want to have a little bit of a tail and slide it all the way up to the top. That is called combing your loom, like combing your hair, but combing your loom. You push it to the top. And then I want you to take this little tail and floss it between the tooth. So just kind of put it out of the way. If you have a piece of tape, you can go ahead and tape that down. If not, it should be pretty secured tucked back there. So now you have this, it's attached and you can pull and you have this end. So if you are fine using your fingers to go under, keep doing that. Some kids really like that. Some students really like using the plastic needle and we have a really big plastic needle. And if you would like to have one, I can leave one at the school office. Um, I don't have a lot of them, but I have at least some for you guys at home. Anything plastic, nothing too sharp that will hurt us. It's a little easier. Now, some friends don't know how to thread a needle. You just can't stick it through, right? So there's a couple ways you could thread a needle. I lay my tail over the needle. I pinch it. I slide it. And then I can push it through. That's how I was taught when I was a little girl, and I leave just a little tail. Another thing we do is I take a post-it note at school, and I cut a little piece, and we make threading tacos. I take this little rectangle, and I fold it in half lengthwise or hot dog style, so it looks like a little taco shell. And this should fit in my eye. So what you do is you lay the end of your yarn inside your taco shell. See, it's inside my taco shell. I'm gonna pinch it flat, shove it through the needle, and voila, you're threaded. Just leave a little tail and you're all set. So whatever way you wanna do with your hands or with a needle, Mrs. Cole likes the needle, so I'm gonna use that. So watch where you ended. I ended on a under, so we're doing opposites. So now I'm gonna start going over. So I'm gonna skip this one, pick up this one, so it's under, I'm gonna go over, 
under, I'm gonna go over, under, go over, and end over. And we wanna be the opposite of where we were, and that's true. And then when I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna gently pull. Using my fingers, I'm gonna gently pull until this end just kisses that string. I don't wanna pull so tight, it singes. We wanna keep it loose. So it's gonna just kiss there, and I'm gonna bring it up, and I'm gonna comb my loom. And I know it works if I pull a little tug on it and it doesn't unravel. If you don't do the opposite, it unravels. So you can check, because that was under, over, it should see opposite on each one. So now I ended over. So I'm gonna take my needle, and I'm gonna start under. So I'm gonna pick up, slide over, so I know I'm picking up every other warp string. So I can check with my yarn that's opposite the one above it. And when I pull, remember we just want to kiss that yarn. It shouldn't tug. Comb it up. And I have my third one. And you keep weaving. So for whatever length of yarn you have, I want you to keep weaving. Always going opposite of the one before you. So now I ended under. I'm going to start over. And you do this either with your needle or with your fingers. And Mrs. Cole has been weaving for a very long time, so I'm used to going a little bit faster. If you need to rewatch this video, that's fine. The only thing you wanna be careful with is if you're threading your needle, you don't wanna weave your little tail in. So I want you to keep weaving until you have about a finger's length of yarn left, and then cut it. You don't wanna cut that tail too short. You wanna leave it kind of long. So I'm gonna let you pause what I would like you to do today is I would like you just to weave one color until you have a finger's length of yarn left and just leave it on your loom. Take a picture and it can be vertical or horizontal so I can see your weaving and upload that to the assignment. This is probably as far as your class is going to get this week doing one length of yarn, that color, and that won't fill your whole thing. Next time we're together, I'll teach you how to change your colors because it's a different way to do that because we don't want to tie any knots. So if you are weaving and you're weaving and you go to pull it and this happens, <gasps> the whole thing just unwove. That's because you didn't do the opposite. It's not a big deal. So you'll just make sure this next time you go, okay, I started under, now I have to go over. Weaving is easy to fix, but it's also very easy to get frustrated with. So I want you to be very kind to yourself. You are learning. So once you weave all your first color, take that picture and send it to me. If you have any questions or you don't understand something, please let me know. I'm happy to make you another video or we can zoom and go through it together. Enjoy your weaving and I can't wait to see what colors you choose for your loom. Goodbye, artists.